Hey, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dicing with Death. Ryan, how are you doing? Doing well. Long time no see. It's been a couple of hours. Uh, for those of you that are watching just Georg's playlist, this is going to be slightly out of time for you. Uh, I'm a dimensionalist. End- of course, I, I step out of time all the time. <laughs> uh, at the end of the last Georg check-in, Georg ran into this you know, wizard Malachi, right? Um, so they have since had some adventures together, and if you want to watch those adventures, go check out the Hardcore Heroes Arcadia playlist, starting around, like, episode two or something. Um, for those of you that aren't watching that or don't want to watch that, I'm going to do a short, overly brief recap of what's going on so that the actions today will make some sense for you. Basically, Hardcore Heroes is another show that we've been running, now the campaign, those characters have been mainly operating out of Shirebrook. There's been all these like mysteries and disappearances of entire villages and assassinations of nobles that have really destabilized the region to the point where the player characters are almost running things in that part of the world and down in the Shirebrook area. Uh, they have sort of enlisted Georg's help because uh, one of the, two of the player characters have been disappeared to God knows where. Uh, the players have some notion of what's going on, so they've been borrowing Georg for that, and that's why Georg's been involved in all these things. I really recommend you take a look at Hardcore Heroes. Um, the whole storyline is really good. Uh, Hardcore Heroes Arcadia has also been pretty sweet, so that's what's going on. I think this takes place after Hardcore Heroes Arcadia Episode 6. I'm going to double-check the exact episode number for you right now so you know where in time this takes place. I think this is taking place during whatever episode we just aired this week. Right. So that'd be Hardcore so, Hero, Hardcore so Heroes you, Arcadia 5. So this okay. takes place like somewhere in Hardcore Heroes Arcadia 5, or maybe it's between 4 and 5 uh, where this is taking place. I'm not exactly sure. But that's to catch you up on our timeline. Yeah. So, but that said, I think the events of, whoops, kicking my hardware. Am I still here? Can you You're still, still hear here. Me? Yeah, yeah. Um. I think the events today will mostly take place in Misty Rapids, uh, probably not related to what's going on in Hardcore Heroes necessarily. Right, so I right. think first order of business is we've got a conversation that we need to play out. Um, so I've teleported to Misty Rapids for the day. Yes. Um, from, yeah, from Shirebrook. And I will be heading into town to take care of some business. So I want to arrange a meeting between myself uh, and basically the, the leaders of the town, more or less. So mm-hmm. I'll call uh, the Nessa, the Nessa, who I've named Chancellor. acting chancellor. Um, Mother Emma, the high priest in town. Mm-hmm. And also call him the captain of the guard, whose name I can't even remember. Uh, Did you appoint him? a captain of the guard? Not a captain of the guard, sorry, sheriff. The sheriff. Uh, yes. Uh, uh Oh God! I can look up his name for you. It's not Leroy. It's um, Leo Lennon. Um, um, might have it in my notes, but it's it, yeah, he's pretty boring and interchangeable. I think. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really done much talking with him. But I, I think he's been kind of cowardly and unqualified. Uh, Darren. Darren. He's the new okay. sheriff, a son of a redsmith. New-ish, right? I mean, I inherited him from... Like, Lord Song appointed him, correct? Right, right. After the previous sheriff died. So he's been sheriff for a few months, mm-hmm. I think. Relatively new. Okay. Um. So I don't know if I can get all of these people to... Um, to the keep in a day. I'll pro- So I'll, I'll probably head to town. Mm-hmm. Um, I think for... Our purposes, we can say I'll use uh, uh, Carl's house as a base of operation, right? There's right. nothing there, right? That's like that was just an abandoned house in Misty Rapids that I used Correct. to live in. Um, that I well, now it's abandoned because I kind of well, I don't know. People probably assume it's haunted by. <laughs> me. Yeah, um, I think it's all wizard locked up, anyways. Um, but I'll send messengers out from Misty Rapids to get confirmation from these people that they could meet me in the keep or if they can't meet me in the keep i can arrange something else uh these people will meet you in your keep you are their liege lord they are bound to do what you say and they are also terrified of you 
So when <laughs> Georg or Carl or whatever you're going by these days says, hey, I need to talk to you, they drop what they're doing and run to meet you. All right. um, so you go through town, you find Mother Emma, you find uh, Darren, and Vanessa's already in the keep being all... Vanessa's not in the keep. Unless she found a way to get in said keep and take it over. Oh, did you? The wizard the keep is just the keep is basically it's abandoned and wizard locked up. Okay. I assume. I mean, one of the things I, I do want to talk to her today about her operations. Okay, cool. No, so then she you... she was not given access to the keep. And if you'll recall, she was asking about if she gets to hire her own gatekeeper. And mm -hmm. I was like, if you can find a gatekeeper that can open the gate, you're welcome to it. But uh, right. I, I think the assumption there was that okay. she wouldn't be. Able, she would. She was. Yeah. So are you gathering these people to have a conversation in the keep or in town? Yeah, so let's have, the, I mean, yeah, so we'll late that morning after, you know, messages have been sent out and everyone's arranged. Um, we'll have this meeting in Mr. Rapid's keep. I'll throw the gates open and front door as well. So when they make it, so yeah, I'll, I'll head back to the keep a little before them. They'll mm -hmm. probably walk their way there an hour or so later and they'll find the gates open, the door open. And we can have this meeting in the Great Hall. Okay, well then I guess we don't need the town music. Oh, we may need it in a second. It will, it will slow on the draw. It's Let me fine. pull up the music now that you mention it. But we can go straight to the, um, whatever the ominous <laughs> keep. I, I like to think of this as Lord Song's theme. Although I yeah, well, I'm giving you a different song closet. because I don't want you. Uh, Protein really? Fields has got to be Lord Song's theme. Yeah, that... That's his, man. That's his. What's the, what's, what's the Lord Grimm theme? I'm still working on trying to figure out what that is. I, protein Fields is just so perfect. Mm -hmm. So spooky. Yeah, I know. That's how I was expecting it to. But the soundtrack came with the place, but I guess not. No, no, no. The soundtrack comes with the man. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Disembodied Spirits from Tabletop oh. Audios might be your theme. Might be. We'll see how this feels. Um. So I don't know if we will, if it matters what order they arrive in. But no, I will uh, offer refreshments. I don't think we. I have a real kitchen going, so I'll probably like pull a bottle of wine and if it's, or tea or whatever. I don't know. I'm somewhat ill prepared to handle guests, but yes, the the cobwebs mm -hmm. are starting to stack up. The dust is starting to pile up around the place. You can find a dusty bottle of wine and some glasses mm -hmm. for these people uh maybe some like hard tack bread or um i don't bother i don't bother with putting out stale bread i think it'll probably be some fine but cobweb covered bottle mm -hmm. if if mother emma doesn't drink we'll i'll like scramble to find some tea or water <laughs> no she'll drink wine yeah there's there's no okay. problem with that and the four of us gather in misty rapids great hall okay. a pretty a large hall right sizable enough to fit Several dozen nights or so. Oh yeah, I mean this feast comfortably. This is the hall that you use for your um, eating. It's your your mess hall as well as your um, great hall for having meetings. So it's it's did, it's multi purpose room. Did uh, Baron Song take his throne with him? No, no. There's a better chair in Thornwood. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm seated on the chair. Though. We'll be sitting around a. A table. little too large table having this okay. conversation. Uh, the room is now lit by continual light spells, which are probably draped over with various fabrics for mood lighting. Mm, so that it's not like un uncomfortable daylight indoors. Kind right, of right. Uh, any particular color of fabric that you want to set the mood uh, with? Prob probably just whatever we had. So they're, I'm guessing drab blacks and grays of House Song. Yeah, probably some browns as My, well, because his sigil yeah. is the coiled snake. There's probably some browns and blacks and grays and something like that. The, the four well, people gather. My friends, thank you for uh, gathering around at such short notice. <clears throat> I thought it prudent that we all take advantage of such a rare opportunity to to speak together. <clears throat> Says, or clears the, the throat of Darren. Um, my lord, I, I don't mean to be rude i understand the presence of myself and uh, <clears throat> mother emma here but who is this other woman he says looking at vanessa uh 
Vanessa. I understand you, Darren. I made like, her... Are you not? Is Darren not from this town? He is, but you know, Vanessa's you, just a civilian. Two, I assumed you two were acquainted. Uh, Russian, I, right? I, mean, it, I understand you've appointed her chancellor, but who <clears> is she <throat> for you to appoint chancellor? She's just a regular peasant. What does she know of running a a keep or I, running a town? I narrow my eyes at this presumptuous sheriff. <clears throat> Such judgments are for me to make as your liege lord. If you would be perhaps a little more studious to know your history of this great town, you would know that uh, Vanessa's sister was our, uh, well, the previous you. I I do understand, and I, I do not mean... She is so she, though she is not as noble birth, well, I dare say none of us are. But it looks like it has fall to us, fallen to us to keep the good people of Misty Rapids safe from the power, the powers that be, the forces of the wild. Vanessa chimes some... in to remind him that her mother was sheriff before her sister was. And, you know, her parents were sheriff and that her family has long been the protector of this place. So even if she doesn't have a rank or status, you know, she grew up with protecting the town. You make a good point. Perhaps, perhaps you would like to trade jobs, I say, looking, holding uh, uh, Darren's stare if he'll, if he'll meet my gaze. He holds your gaze for a few seconds and drops it and murmurs, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Now... Um, I've gathered you here because, well, in case you haven't noticed, I, my work keeps me quite busy, traveling to and fro. I do not often find myself in Misty Rapids proper. Um, I would like to empower the three of you to make whatever day-to-day -day decisions need to be made in order to ensure that our people are happy and prosperous and well. There's a slow silence while everyone <laughs> considers the fact that Georg wants his people to be happy and prosperous. <laughs> <clears throat> and, um, says Mother Emma, the noble families in town, I know they have not historically had much influence with Baron Song. He's been a reclusive Baron. I... How do we wish to... Do we not wish to bring them in on this process? Nobles. Mm. You don't even know their names. I mean, you've yeah. like met a few of them. Yeah, gross. Like, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, what? Uh, have the nobles been causing trouble? Do our... Do taxes flow through the nobles? Is that like a thing? Here? Like, do they manage the lands? And... Yeah. So um, whoever owns the villages collects taxes. Mm -hmm. Then they pass one third of the taxes they collect up onto the baron. The baron collects taxes from the town. And then yeah. all the things that the baron collects, uh, they pass one third of that up to the count. And then everything the count collects t okay. takes one third and goes up to the king. Yeah. I'm not concerned with, uh, with the nobles for now. Let them sit comfortably in their manners at least for the time, but frankly, I'm surprised that you would heed their word. Have they been meddlesome in your affairs? Heads are shaken across the room. No, just no. considering. <clears throat> well, it's while Mother Emma is on my mind, I'll take care of this business. Uh, I, I would like... Uh, Specifically, looking to Mother Emma, for the Temple of Purification to be operational once more. I obviously want my hands nowhere near it, but I think you as head priest can at least, at least oversee such a task. You would like to continue the purification of those that come from the West? On a strictly voluntary basis. I would envision this temple serving as a place where sick and hungry can come can go to 
receive food or <clears throat> blessings. If such a charity is to require funds, that can be arranged. I shall see to it. We have and, um, no other clerics in town. Then select a suitable priest or something who you see fit to run the day-to-day -day there. It is done. I expect things have well fallen to chaos in the past months. Is the place even... It, I believe it is um, the haven for the few uh, fanatical members of the late mother's clergy. They have been holding some of their own rites and ceremonies there. Well, see what you can do to uplift them. Perhaps put a little temperance in their hearts. But I would like it to be known that Misty Rapids is a place of plenty. We will not, we do not have hungry or homeless in our streets. And I think that uh, the Temple of Purification is precisely the, the pillar of plenty that this town needs. Of course. Uh, likewise to the two of you, uh, I wish to extend any support you may need. I don't know when we will all be in the same room together, but if you have requests, now is the time. And should decisions need to be made in my absence, uh, I expect a quorum of you, of you three can make such matters of import. If it, if it, yeah. Vanessa speaks up. Uh, <clears throat> if we three will be deciding the fate of this town. I did not say that. For matters I pertaining apologize. to this town in, in my absence, a unanimous tribunal of you three can make whatever decisions need to be made. If these things involving other states or sufficiently large sums of money I expect to be brought into the loop now can you may continue what then lord is my position as chancellor if not to make those decisions in your absence <clears throat> Well, to make uh, those decisions in my absence, but... He looks to the other two. <laughs> I see. It he, would be... He ponders this. But it would I, be most useful to use the keep as a place to hold court and deal with the daily jobs that have been left unattended. Really? I find this keep quite inconvenient. So I would, what are we, three miles from town? No, I think it would be much more appropriate for you to establish some sort of office in Misty Rapids to hold your court. She gives a slow nod. I suppose, I, I assume you can find some temporary arrangements for now and we can see to a more permanent solution when I have such time. Uh, do I have your blessing to... What's the word? Um, repossess uh, empty structures for this job? <laughs> Are the... Sh sure. Sure. As long as you don't step on any toes. Of course not. But anything that is currently standing unused might be useful to turn into some sort of ceremonial throne room. Council room. All. If 
Very well. Uh, Darren, how is how goes the city watch? Are you adequately funded, equipped? Hmm. So far, it has gone well. How we many men do you have? Sixteen um, men with spears, three with slings, and myself, of course. I look him up and down. What is he armed and armored with? Uh, he's got leather armor and a long sword. A, a bronze long sword, I assume. Yes. Uh, no, he actually has a steel long sword. Um, okay. Well then, if uh, you have no, if you have no proposals to make, you may see uh, Vanessa for any budgeting concerns down the line. <clears throat> There is a, a small matter of the gnolls, my lord. They Are have... They back? Yes, some of the outlying villages have been reporting um, raids. Few people have been wounded. Um, animals taken, supplies taken. The, the local knights are... Well... <clears throat> the former... The, the second former captain of the guard frequently saw to the knoll problems when the local forces were unable to deal with them. In, their, in his absence, he says, not even mentioning Kel Greller's name, feeling maybe mm -hmm. awkward about saying it, uh, I have received many summons to bring our men and help. It would be useful if we had a few more if we're to take over former, former captain's job. Is this something that you can achieve with expanded funds? Are we talking about a few gnolls here? Or... Hmm, mostly we need horses in order to make it to these places in time. Uh, we, we might get a report that a, a town is currently under attack a, a half mile away, but by the time we get there, it's over. I would need four good horses at the minimum. This can be arranged. Um, if that is possible, then some of our equipment has become outdated. And some things need resizing. <clears throat> I'm a, a little larger than our former sheriff, and <clears throat> there need to be adjustments made to the sheriff's equipment in order to compensate for these changes. Yes, I have looked into this. If I am correct, there is no armor or weaponsmith in Misty Rapids. Correct. I'm seeing to solve this problem long term. Until then... I got, I got nothing, I don't think. Yeah, until then, it looks like Spears will have to do... Do be careful. I am willing to throw money at this problem, but I don't know that we should throw bodies at it as well. At the knolls? Try to keep casualties to a minimum. Of course. Horse, horses are expensive. Of course. We just need to be able to move back and forth. Perhaps you could give us loan of one of your... <coughs> <clears throat> your steeds <clears throat> in my absence the, the beast would not be of much use they only ex I can only keep them on this realm for about a day at a time perhaps someday if you're lucky if you're lucky and still alive 
He goes quiet I again. Can, I can do such a thing for you. Unnerved by your <laughs> um, phantom steed. All right. So it looks like big spending ahead. Can we? I mean, there are horse salesmen in town, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can buy horses here for listed price. 75 gold per horse. Mm -hmm. um, let's make it like an even 90 after saddle, bit, bridle, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. 90 times 4 is... 360. Three. Okay. That's right. Okay. So before this guy leaves, I'll probably I'll hand him a, <laughs> a yeah, a giant bag of gold or something like that. Okay. Um, is did Vanessa, Vanessa had no financial requests? Um, um yeah, I mean, actually, she I mean, probably I'll does hold her. But I'll think. I think I'll hold her around out. Yeah, yeah. So we'll. Um, I did. So Mother Emma doesn't. Does she need anything for the temple restoration stuff? Uh, or, Let's see. Does she if she does she bring it up now? I mean, so I guess I'll say, well, if there's if there's nothing else, I assume you all have busy days. <clears throat> Mother Emma clears her throat a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, temple restoration is something that the church can do with its own funds, of course. But if would be it will be a slower process. Our the people do not tithe as much as they once did, and while there are fewer members of the clergy to support these days... Yes, yes, yes. What what, what do you need? That is hmm. 300, 300 gold sufficient? Thank you. That would be plentiful. I'm going to go broke funding all this. Eventually we'll need to get the tax and income coming. Yeah. Um, I... Okay. So then I dismiss them and... Uh, well, yeah, Vanessa as gives you a clearing. Yeah, as, the as they're leaving, I'm like, uh, okay. Vanessa, hang around for a moment. She waits for the others to depart. I guess you left the doors open so they could walk out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this whole time, the, the front gate and the entrance to the keep are just yeah. wide open. Um, she comes over to you and so says... They, yeah, the other two leave, I say. <sighs> Eventually, <clears throat> I would like to turn over much of the logistics of um, running this barony into your hands. That includes uh, collecting taxes. She nods. From nobles at times. Is this something you think you can handle? Uh, With the chancellor is entitled, even required to do these things. I can make sure it is done, but I will need access to a secure place to hold the funds. My influence may keep would-be thieves at way for a short while, but I think it also might make this a more prime target. Hmm. Access to the keep and its treasury would be very... would smooth things along well. Be careful what you wish for. Do they tell rumors of what lies beneath Misty Rapids Keep? Is there something beyond the dungeons? Those the would be the treasury? I have never seen its location myself, and Baron Song has... Sorry. Count Song has always been a jealous and cautious man, making it difficult to get inside information. I must say, this is the second time I've ever stepped foot inside this building. Hmm. Yes. Well, as I said, I think it makes the most sense for you to establish your own 
offices Soviet. in town. Um, I know you are just the place. From time to time, we can meet to secure the secure the, the taxes into the into the old treasury. Excellent. But uh, will you be concerned to do such accounting outside mm. in your facilities? A secure is... vault room is what I desire. If you have some means of some otherworldly means of securing a vault room or a lockbox that cannot I be lo uh, picked. I, I have many means, but uh, alas, you would not be able to enter it yourself. Hmm. What I can do is give you an open box that cannot be opened once you've closed it. That I could... Uh, refresh once a month or so or once a season or so hmm. I'll have to think on this I will, will make do with what I can will this be a, an issue before tax tax season or... um, well as it stands I have absolutely no money at my disposal currently so there is nothing to steal <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, what, what does your office need to get up and running? Oh, um, I think I will be able to handle that on my own. Thank you very much. Uh, the ability to reclaim, repossess abandoned buildings will be sufficient <laughs> to move things along. I don't know what you're uh, getting at, but... I trust that you will exercise good judgment. And when it comes time to consolidate the taxes of the barony, uh, I do expect to see your accounts. Now let me see to getting you whatever paperwork you'll need for the time being. And I think we'll spend like an hour copying over ledgers. I don't want to give her like the originals from the war room mm -hmm. and like that sort of stuff, but we'll head up there. We'll go through the paperwork, figure out who all the nobles are. I'll like copy her a list of that. Alright, figure out who, goes, who, who owns what villages, out, what to collect from these people. Yeah, basically figure out the tax shit and hand make her copies and hand those over to her. Not a problem. Uh, we also do have holdings east of Thornwood. Are you? Do, is that in addition to... Um, oh, the, to the extra lands for? that you gathered before? Yeah, is that in addition to Misty Rapids holdings? or? Yeah, so the awkward part of that is that those lands were current used to be under Thornwood domain. They've kind of been shifted into your ownership, but they our, those our tax Carl's rates ownership. Right, but those um they those villages pay their taxes to that person who then pays it up to um Baron Songs County. That so, wasn't the arrangement when I when we acquired them, right? They they were paying taxes. Well, yeah, I never saw a dime actually. They were yes. paying, I think they were paying taxes to. Where, I mean, where did that money go? I the money was supposed to. You were supposed to. It was supposed to go into your pocket, and then you were supposed mm -hmm. to pay a third of it up the the chain after to using Thornwood. whatever. Yeah. Right after using whatever. So to it run seems those like places. Song has basically uh, been t been collecting taxes for them the whole time. Right. Which You've I think never kind seen of a agreed dime. on it. Okay, but some is someone seeing to that. Uh, then it, so I think we we come across that as we're going through the ledgers. I'm like, hey, I own these lands, but we haven't seen taxes on them. Uh, since so as you come across so those I, ledgers, hold I, on, there's a change. You come uh, across the documents that say, you know, Art Carl owns these things, but it mm -hmm. does not say Art Carl's name on it. It says Baron Song's name on it. Okay. He has had the documents changed. But it says Baron. It says Baron Song. Um, I guess it, it says, uh, yeah. Well, it, it's, or does it it's, say like Lord Noken Song? Lord Noken Song, right? So it mm -hmm. it looks like when you guys first went over these documents, he just had them changed to his name, as yeah, uh, not, as if you a, had I, changed over yeah, the ownership an, to them. It's an obvious forgery. I, um, it's obvious I could, to you because you know you never gave him this permission, but it's yeah, yeah. you know, it's but it, it's not. It's been like somehow erased and rewritten. Just like a, a completely different sheet rewritten with your. Oh, with and the, the originals name. aren't the originals aren't even here, right? Yeah, but so you come across what ought to be the documents, 
and it's in his name instead of yours. Okay. Um, I smile, and I, I ask Vanessa to confirm that these p- villages are paying taxes to at least someone. <laughs> she will. Um, just to see what happened. I don't know if it's entirely clear to her the chain of events. But... Right, right. She she, said, she promises to look into it carefully because it's another mm-hmm. county, uh, it's another barony, so it's not her jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. Um, Whatever. Um, cool. So I think that takes care of most of the town stuff. I do actually want, I did ask the dwarves in Shirebrook about about smiths, like weapon and armor mm-hmm. smiths, to get a feel for like guys in the region that have a good reputation. Mm-hmm. Um, did that, and my end goal there would be to try and convince someone to come to Misty Rapids mm. uh, with the promise of more money and better steel than whatever they're, whatever they're working wherever they are. But I don't know if there have been any uh, any leads in that in that investigation. Let's take a look at our list of resources and their distribution, so we can get an idea of um, where they might be. All right, so there are two, four, six, eight places in Eridon that make weapons. It's High Castle, Keldoram, Milfaldur, New Fort, Rockwave, Stromheim, Thornwood, Weatherlight, and Whiteshore. So Shirebrook doesn't actually have any weapon. Well, but uh, what about the contingent of dwarves that are there? Or the are there any were there any dwarves in the mines that had that had such uh, there were a lot of like history. Um, did, the miners did... were mostly miners. There are dwarven smiths, but they are not weapon and armor smiths. They are, mm-hmm. you know, tool makers and that sort of thing. Um, okay. In theory, with proper practice and training, they could be converted into weapon smiths. Um, but they would have to then uproot their families and everything and come over here. So I think it's definitely possible you could convince, especially since Shirebrook has been such a shitty place as of late, you might Isn't... be able to convince some people to uproot themselves and leave. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're uh, without role playing it all out they would want to bring their clan so it wouldn't be like bringing a dwarf and his family it'd be like bringing like a hundred dwarves over here um, <laughs> I might which be open be... to the idea of a hundred dwarves uh, in Misty Rapids Keep just churning out uh, steel weapons and armor um, now the, the problem with that though is that you would be reducing the dwarven population of Shirebrook by a hundred and you'd be taking a whole bunch of smiths with you and then you'd have to deal with the people in Shirebrook being like, what the fuck, you just poached my dwarves. <laughs> I I think that may be the route we're going to go. Okay, cool. I don't know what, what we need to, if we want to roll, if we need to role play at some point with the head of Dwarven household, or if I've just like incepted the idea into their heads that, I, I mean, I, ha- I probably showed around my steel, my iron. Uh, how did, where, do you haven't built your... Or did you break down your big iron wall? We broke down one iron wall. We didn't, I mean, it's 30,000 pounds of iron. We didn't right. establish how much of that got converted into. So it's some of it I do, we can do that accounting, right? Some of it I do need as a sheet iron for spell components. I mean, I guess it's, it, we, we talked about it and it was like, it's so much iron that it's almost like, how do you even, what do you even say? What do you even? Right. It's know. just an unreasonable amount of metal. <laughs> I mean, it depends what you're doing with it, but yeah. Right, right. Um, okay. But I assume I can just write uh, iron. Sh- I'll write iron sheets and just like. So that's a spell component for wall of iron. Right. So what is your? Um... And then some iron ingots, and I had given given a few. To, I mean, we weren't clear on the quantities that I had given to Vanessa to like mm-hmm. see if she could. I don't know. Just see if there's a market for such things, and then Which I will have is. some. Yeah. And then I'll have some that I show off to dwarves. It's like, look, I've got the steel. This is what you could work with if you come to Misty Rapids. <laughs> okay. So what's your what's your proposal for these dwarves? Uh, we'll find a we can find a place to put it in, or say it's already been done, or something. But what what are you offering them to uproot them in their lives? And you know, dwarves are a stubborn folk. They don't like change. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm. I, yeah. I think I'm dangling the prospects of uh, more money than they're making now, and better iron to work than they've ever seen in their lives. Uh, in what way would they be making more money? <laughs> Uh, because they're still I being. Mean, are you are you saying that you have work for them to do, and you will have constant work for them? 
Uh, and that you'll pay them more than they would normally. Yeah, make? I don't know how. I don't know how constant. Yeah, I mean, yeah, more or less. Like, okay. so what? I mean, what is a dwarven salary? Like a hundred gold a month, or one gold? A typical salary for a commoner is like one gold a, a month. Um, let's see. So for With a whoops, that is not the right. Um, where's our economics sheet? It's in another area. So mm -hmm. a like a peasant who's just working a a farm or something is making like a. Uh, a silver a day. A smith mm -hmm. generally makes about a gold a day on a gold average. A day. Yeah. Oh wow. So a hundred. I can't afford to buy hire a hundred smiths. Well, not if you're employing them full time. That's mm -hmm. like generally what it costs. What what smiths are are making, but they're rarely employed by one person, right? They, you know, you might do a a job that nets you five GP for this person and takes you four days, and then you've got a day of rest, and then you do a job that takes, you know, it, it's. It's more complicated than all that. Yeah. Um, so really, what they need is a place to sell their wares because they're you're Which not going to be the primary source I, of income. Right. I think I will be. I mean, maybe not for a hundred of them, mm -hmm. but long swords and armor take a fuck long time to make. So I okay. imagine there will be several working full time, cranking out however many long swords a month sure. for me. And that hundred dwarves, they're not a hundred smiths. It's you know, yeah. like. It'll be like 10 Smiths, Smiths and their wives and children and, wives, and a few children. of their cousins. Yeah, their yeah, yeah. brother. And <laughs> right. And some of them are minors. And so they're going to, you know, someone's going to make a proposal. Let's all move over here. And then we'll just like, you guys will stop working in these mines and work in those mines. And it's, you know, it's a big thing. Yeah. So I, I think for now, maybe I just sow those seeds in the dwarves mine. Like I I, I have talked about spending a little bit of time cavorting amongst the dwarves mm -hmm. so i think i've just you know dropped these hints that you know i've i'm a wealthy baron with money to pay for good smiths mr happens as a market for it and i have access to this high quality steel okay um i don't think logistically it makes sense like at least from like especially from like the campaign perspective to like deal with those dwarves all moving now but who knows maybe they all pack, decide to pack up and leave while we're in the shadow realm and well shit <laughs> uh, okay um Okay. Um, we'll see. Hopefully things can work out if the dwarves do start trickling in. If... Yeah, there would be like a single migration probably mm -hmm. rather than a, a trickle. Yeah. So then I imagine that will probably wind up happening in the future. But it's, yeah, something that I've laid the scenes, seeds of. Okay. Um, damn, I was really... Why did I... I wanted trolls. I've been wanting trolls forever. I don't think we're gonna have time to go troll wrestling today. I don't think so. Hmm. The imps are still in the dungeon. Yes. Do they, need to, um, do they need to eat? Do I have any books I could look up of what imps eat, or do I need to like unchain wait, this them? Wait, this is after you guys have gotten the them. imps, right? What what day did you guys get the imps? Ages um, ago, you got yeah. So you got them on like the fourteenth, the thirteenth or fourteenth of December, and I think this is taking place. Uh, this is after you visited Thornwood, right? Yeah. So yeah. this is the eighteenth or nineteenth. So you got the imps like a, a week ago, less than a week ago. Okay. All right, uh, and they basically just been chained in the dungeon for a week. Uh, if they so yeah. if they need to drink, I'm probably noticing. Uh, poor health, and they, they might just be dying in chains. So I will <laughs> check on them to make sure that, to see what's going on, see if I need to give them water. Um, right. I think I'll like conjure a shield and like take un unlock one of their faces and like see if I can check in verbally. Or maybe do I? But I have like an I don't know what spells I would typically have memorized. Except probably. But anyways. Yeah, I would. I don't think I would have an ESP in the back pocket at this time. But. Okay. So are they dying? Are they still alive? They are do they still alive. Yes. Do they, do they draw their energy from something other than food? Um, <laughs> no, they look emaciated. Okay. Hmm. Well, do I have any? I have, do I have any concept of what imps eat, or of what methods eat? Uh, only what Ryan can rationalize. <laughs> so like meat. I mean, I'll find. Yeah. Hmm. Do I have any? Can I arrange? Can I try and feed them? 
like while I'm, while I'm here. Yeah, Find some you meat can, for them. Yes, you can give them various. Lay some meat out. You know, unlock their muzzles. And, they you know, will like, score them before I open it. Be like, yeah, be like don't now, don't. <laughs> Uh, do they, stupid. <laughs> Mephits understand the concept of servitude and slavery fairly well. <laughs> um, okay, so they don't breath the weapon at people. me while while I while I feed them. No, and not to the, to the like... wizard who knocked them out and and you know stuck them underground. Mm -hmm. uh, they are fairly violent creatures, yeah. but they also understand when they've been beat and you know they're okay. willing to buy. But if time. I leave them here with their with their muzzles off, like I, can they? Where do they gate? Like for the gate, if they're in a, in a in a cell, they can like gate in their friends outside of the cell. I assume, right? Like so, it's not. Oh, God. If you want to keep these imps around, you're gonna need mm. someone to come down and feed them from time to time. <laughs> I don't have anyone who could come down and feed these imps from time to time. But oh God, smoke methods, smoke methods, okay. right? And to be totally frank, I am not eager to steal their souls simply because that's exactly what Malchus would want me to do. Mm. And we've, I sort of have an interesting relationship with my benefactor right now. Yeah, it's not been particularly great, has it? I don't know if that's that's what I would say, but I, I have a strong suspicion that if I were to sacrifice this method to the amulet, uh, that mm. it's going somewhere where Malchus has plans for it. Mm. Maybe it's sending it right back where it came from, mm. back to the back to the lower planes. But I'd kind of rather have them here and enslaved. Are they, do they speak to me when I like set them? When I'm like so before I unmuzzled them, I was like, "Now don't you do anything stupid? Don't breathe on me, I'm feeding you." There's like um when uh, I when I un when I release the muzzle, or do they speak in common, or do they? Just... They do not. Uh, mm -hmm. They stay very quiet with their heads slightly bowed, but their eyes locked on you, mm -hmm. and like an untrustworthy but submissive display. Mm -hmm. Ah, <sighs> fucking methods. What do I do with these guys? I, I do not think I would trust Vanessa to feed my to feed my imps. I need a I need a young Georg to come in and bleed my unicorn once a day or whatever. Oh, if only you had Lori. <laughs> Magnificent. Lori was a tragedy. Mm. The spellbook was so delicious. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's what I've done with this spellbook. I mean, now I think all of my high level spells are in a spellbook. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, well, shit. I don't have any good solutions other than maybe just killing them. Uh, mm -hmm. You could let them starve and just hope that you come back in time that they're still alive. A month would be long enough to let them. See, I can't, but I can't leave their mouth, their their mouths unbound. You could leave like a big thing of water, and they could just kind of like yeah, yeah. lean. So in I it. leave a big, I leave a big, big bucket of water. Mm -hmm. I wanna, I, what about a big block bucket of blood? That's got calories in it that may sustain. But it also long. go bad and start to rot. They're imps, right? Mm -hmm. I, can I, well, so while they're it feeding, I, I ask them if they are subject to usual diseases that plague us mortals. Um, would, would rotting meat trouble you? Don't seem to recognize what you're saying. Okay, Maybe they they're just speak. playing dumb. They don't speak common. I don't think I'm going to burn a tongue scroll on these fuckers. And I don't have. Can't you make as many as you want? But that takes time. Yeah. Right. And yeah. You don't want to speak with them. I do. I really do. Oh. But I may. I think I might. I might save. I don't know. We'll see. Um. Mm. But I will try. And I'll go to the bushes sometime that afternoon and pick up. See if I can get. Them. A big, tr a big, a big trough of blood to take back to the to my dungeon. <laughs> the butcher sells you a big trough of blood <laughs> without any question. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'll like, yeah, yeah, cart it back to the keep and take care of that. Um, okay, there was a matter of some 
spell learning and perhaps why don't you just roll a check to learn okay. this mystery spell that we're hiding okay. from people because we don't trust people well, I don't know if it's well. Yeah, we'll. we'll see. I don't we'll see trust I, people. If, we'll see if I succeed. Even what is my spell chance? Like nine I'll million. Just, yeah, I'll just roll a d one hundred and see what happens. Yeah, it's greater than seventy percent. So sixty nine. Ooh, let's double check. Oh, make sure it's. Let's make sure not... it's greater than seventy, because it's a non-dimensionless spell, right? Correct. So there is a minus 15. So it would need to be, right. I think my learn is like 95. It might even be a hundred. No, it's not a hundred with 19 int. 19 int is 95. So it's, so uh, it's 70, right? It's minus it's, 15. It's that would be 80. 80. Oh, okay. Yeah, 80. Cool. So you got it. And I think we'll see if I can sort out how, t should we, should we talk about this off air? Uh, the second thing that we talked about? Well, there was uh, the cat. So you, the use of the spell first off, and then the the use of the spell requires a lot of money, though, and some which I can equipment. Do you most have that likely stuff? afford? I mean, I would need to go. I would need to go like a gathering. The ex yeah, I would need to go. I would need to be able to spend said money. Right. Um, the big piece of equipment you can probably get in town without worrying about that too much that's probably available somewhere to or buy even, or there's actually yeah. probably one like lying around in the keep yeah, actually in my forge but the yeah the consumable stuff the consumable stuff i know you've got the ability to do it but that's a lot of it, it there might not be that much lying around in town it might be like a, a time issue because misty um, rapids is kind of a small backwater town so i don't know if there's yeah. that much available yeah. for you right now could i um could i could I like pay someone to buy it in Shirebrook for me or something like that? Sure, but why don't we deal with it when you off, come back off. from the through your your portal and gating other side stuff? You're no fun. You mean I can't I can't do it before before we leave? Uh, I don't think we're gonna have time to swing that. As much I mean, as I, I would like it, I think, I think it would, it's only just. I mean, how long does it even take to do? To gather just, a lot of that stuff, it would I mean it would take probably a couple of days to run around to all the villages and towns and buy it up. And since and you only you leave tomorrow, in game um, time, maybe maybe, yeah, and then yeah. you spend all your time over there, you know. Mm -hmm. Since we're doing this sort of out of sync, where we're going backwards yeah. in time and filling in the gaps, we kind of have mm -hmm. some you know, limits on what we can do. Um, yeah, because then also, yeah, if yeah. this was completed, there might have been evidence of said thing, and that would have changed the. We can only yeah. So I think we're gonna you'll you can do that when you come back. No fun. All right. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we need to do on air then. Okay. Then we'll solve the other problem off air. I think so. Right. Sure. Right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. So I guess yeah. Wrap things up for the day. That's it. Yep. That's it for <laughs> Georg. Uh, it's been good to check up on him. Although we've been playing him fairly regularly these days with Hardcore Heroes, it's nice to get a solo session in. Mm -hmm. um, see how the the world's going over here for you. Um, I, th I don't know what else to say. Um, this has been our Dicing with Death Georgs episode. So we will see you guys next week or something for more D and D. Where you're on, you're on. I'll see you next week. But I'll you're see on, you personally. You're on, you're on break, right? Yeah. There's no. There's you. no. Uh, there might be hardcore heroes other side tomorrow. We'll know in a couple of hours. Um, and then if there's not, there's going to be no more shows until Friday or Saturday of next week. Because um, I'm going to be out of town on vacation. My first vacation in a long time since Burning Man. So in six months. But you, there were, you took Christmas off, and, didn't you? Uh, I mean, like I might have taken a couple of days off. Sure. But well, actually, yeah, not much. In cool. any case, let's bring this in for a landing. All we'll right, guys. See you guys when I see you. Bye-bye.